What's up, beards and beard lovers? Hope you liked our little musical intro that was provided to you by a local artist here in Georgia by the name of Demon Jones. It is called The Beard Song. All right, today, whether you're new to beards or you have a post-corona beard, we're just gonna provide you with six simple rules in growing and going down your beard journey. All right, there's a complex world out there and you know, beards are very popular and there's a lot of opinions and a lot of expressions about what to do and how to maintain them. Here's your six simple rules, guys. Let's get started. Rule number one. Rule number one is just real simple. If you're going from no beard or a very short, you know, where you had stubble and you're going to grow a beard now, beard wash becomes more and more important the longer your beard and your facial hair gets. When your beard hair is short or you have stubble and you're not really, you know, you just have like post shave, you know, the five o'clock shadow things going on, the nutrients to the hair is not as important as it is for longer beards. So golden rule number one, as your beard starts to grow out, you can't use a bar of soap anymore, guys, when you wash your face, you have to gravitate to and move towards a natural beard wash. Just know the ingredients, know the chemicals, and guys know that all shampoo or all beard wash is not the same. All right, guys, growing your beard rule number two, keep it moisturized, keep it conditioned, and keep it hydrated. All right, there's a lot of products out there, but there's two main products that treat your skin and soften your hair, and that's gonna be your beard oil and also your beard butter, all right? Again, it kind of refers back, you're, you're going from a short, to a, a, from a stubble, to a short beard, to a medium, to a long beard. And again, as the hairs get longer, it's gonna be harder for the skin to be hydrated underneath it, and the hairs are gonna be very coarse. So use a good oil, use a good uh, butter, and by all means, you know our rules. Know your ingredients, look for organic certified ingredients, and stay away from anything that has chemicals in it. All right, guys, growing your beard, rule number three, use the right brush, all right? I'm not a fan of combs. If you've, I've got other videos that talk about how you know, the importance of brushing and using the right tool are for your beard. But when you first start growing your beard, this is gonna be an ideal brush for you. It's designed for the shorter beards that have stubble. But as your beard starts to grow, you're now getting medium to long, you're gonna to have to get away from this brush and go to a, something like our detangler brush. All right, so the type of brushing that you use is very important, number one, a brush generates blood flow. Number two, it exfoliates and gets all the dead skin that's underneath your beard out. Guys, we lose on average 40 to 60,000 skin cells a day. You gotta help get them out of that beard. All right, so use the right brush. It'll help you generate your blood flow and realize once you outgrow this brush, you're gonna need to set it aside and move to something like this. Okay guys, growing your beard rule number four. All right, keep your lines clean. All right, and what I mean by that is you're gonna have an upper line to your beard. Uh, you're, gonna have to, you're gonna have a decision underneath the beard, and this is where you're gonna to have to kind of decide how big of a beard are you going for? Are you just wanting to grow it out a little bit? You know, is, is it work-related? Do you have to wear a mask? Or, you know, you gotta kind of determine your length, but when people look and see your beard, immediately they make an opinion. And what I mean by that is you keep your upper lines clean. Every morning, guys, I shave my upper line here. I've got four, five, seven, 12 hairs that grow above my line here, but they're not uniform. And it, if I let those grow, it looks like a little mountain peak in my beard. So keep your lines clean. Even if you don't have a high upper line beard, if you have a U beard or you know, U shaped beard or whatever your shape is, keep your lines clean, all right? Maintain a good line and own what you got. Okay guys, growing your beard, rule number five. If you're going to go from a short beard to a long beard, there's an in-between stage, guys, that is absolutely excruciatingly painful. You're going to have hairs going up, down, one side's going to grow different than the other side. And this is going to go on for six, seven, eight months or more. The average beard will only grow about five and a half inches per year, all right? So what's happening there in this stage is your beard hair, your facial hair is not short enough to be maintained. It's kind of in an in-between stage. It, it won't lay down. It's kind of wanting to stick up. And then eventually, as you get past that in-between stage, gravity takes over, all right? As the hairs get longer, 
the hair will start to lay a little better. But in that six to eight month period, guys, it's gonna be a little bit wild. That's why we make products you'll see in the industry. This is called Beard Balm. It provides light to medium control. It helps you get through those periods of wild growth until you get to a point that you're content with your beard. All right, growing your beard rule number six, guys. Just have fun, all right? We all want what we don't have, all right? I've seen guys with monster beards. I'm like, man, that would be incredible to have. But guys, again, we always want what we don't have. Just have fun with your beard growth. If you can grow a goatee and you don't get the growth on the side, own your goatee and make it the best goatee you can, all right? If you have a, a U-shaped beard, own your U-shape. Just keep it and don't try to make more out of it than what you have. All right, there's no two people the same. There's no two sets of boobs the same. There's no two beards the same. So don't compare yourself with others. Don't try to, you know, achieve for some. That's not how this works. Just own what you got, have fun, and stay bearded. All right, guys, I hope you gained a little bit out of that. There's just six simple, basic uh, steps and procedures. I was talking with a friend of mine this week that has a post-COVID beard. He's like, brother, I don't know what to do, what to use. This thing's starting to grow on me. And he kind of mentioned that he'd like for us to do a video on kind of what to expect and what to do. So I hope you gained a little bit out of that. I've got to cut it a little bit short this week. We're off to uh, do a charity event with the North Georgia Bearded Villains. It's going to be called Operation Rally Point. Uh, next week, guys, I've got a great video coming for you. One of our subscribers had a question about nutrition and does food actually help make your beard grow? So next week's video is going to be on nutrition, testosterone, DHT, hormone generation, things like that. Thank you subscribers. If any of you out there are new to us and find this informative, just subscribe. I only try to do one video a week. Um, and if you guys have any beard questions, topics, or any videos that you'd like to see us do, just drop them down in comments. I'll do my very, very best to get this done for you. And Everybody, thanks for being magnanimous. Have a great weekend. Zeus approved.